Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. That's Ready at Homeschool, I'm Mrs. T. Today we have a Knowledge Crate unboxing video and check out how big this month's box is. It's huge. I actually opened the top of the box with the intention of pulling out the Knowledge Crate like the polka dot box, only to find that there's a lot of content also in this bigger box. So I decided to take a pause, get here on the camera with you guys and unbox it with you. So, if you don't know what Knowledge Crate is, it's a really cool program. We really like it. We've done it now for a while. Um, they have, it's a subscription box and you, it's a quarterly cadence and you can send it for a preschool level or like a, an older child level, um, age level, I should say, age range. And it always has a theme and then it comes with a packet, a booklet of different arts and crafts and activities that you can do, science experiments, things that you can do with your child to support the theme and to learn more about that theme. So I like it. It's a no prep kind of box. It is a little bit pricey. I'll put the current cost here on the screen. I do pay for this out of pocket. And um, yeah, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. So today this is the spring 2024 preschool knowledge crate box. All right, so the very first thing that I see here is an ABC game. This is Eric Carl. This game is actually from Briar Patch, and we've had a, a number of games from this publishing company, and we do really like them. They're usually very simple, and it appears this is like an ABC, a very simple sort of um, recognition game. All right, I'm so already starting to see a theme here. <laughs> the second object here is a very hungry caterpillar ready to grow garden which it looks like there's just like some sprouts in there. Um, it's a terranium, terrarium, terrarium, not terranium. It's a terrarium with some chia seeds and it comes with a bunch of stickers. Uh, you have the actual um, plastic container here. Got a little caterpillar and it says to decorate, plant and grow. And I can tell you right now, my kids are going to love this. This is so cute. I was right. This was the very first thing that the kids wanted to do, and it was a success. So I'm starting to pick up on a theme here. All right, next we have a series of books. This is Eric Carle. Um, These are the Ready to Read sets. So we have Have You Seen My Cat, The Greedy Python, Rooster is Off to See the World, Pancakes, Pancakes, Walter the Baker, and a house for hermit. So I have a feeling Eric Carl <laughs> is our theme, which is fun. All right, we also have a box here. It says rainbow rice. Please be very careful when opening. I'm not going to open it, but I believe this is just going to be colored rainbow rice. And now we get to the actual box. Just kidding. There's one other thing on the outside. <laughs> we have the Very Hungry Caterpillars Explorers Outdoor, or Explorers Outdoor. It says 52 very mindful activities for kids. All right, let's open this one because this sounds really neat. So it, we have a little picture here on this side. And if you flip the card, there's a question. It says, can you find three different kinds of leaves outside? Try drawing them. Do you know which trees they come from? And it looks like this is, here's another one. Is it a sunny day? Let's go outside and find a comfy spot to sit on the ground. Look up, see the shapes and colors and which colors do you see? That is really cool. I'm like, that is really cool. I can't believe I haven't found this game before. We, we play a lot of games and I was actually looking for mindful games um, to kind of support kind of that emotional, social and emotional growth. So that's pretty exciting. And the quality of the cards is really good. Okay. Now we're to the box. This month's box is a little bit skinnier. Makes sense. We had a lot of content on the outside. So let's go ahead and hop right in and take a look. All right, here we go. We have definitely spring themed. We got our butterfly and our typical thank you card. I do really like Knowledge Crate. We've been doing it for a while now and I just, I love it. All right, here's the activity guide and I will put some um, pictures of some of the content. Not all of it because I don't want to give away all of the activities but it is called Explore Eric Carl. This is the preschool guide. So yeah, we got, we guessed it. <laughs> we guessed it. So it looks like just a sneak peek preview of, of things that we'll be doing. We have everything that we just saw outside of the box. There's going to be some sensory play. It looks like that's what we'll be using the rainbow race for. Some tracing, reading. We'll be creating a scratch art scene and some paper plate pythons. Pretty exciting. Uh, mosaics. We'll be making pretzels. Oh, like 
pretzels. That sounds not real pretzels. <laughs> I got really excited. I thought we were making real pretzels. Okay, it's not real pretzels. They are fake pretzels, but we'll make some real pretzels with it. That'll be fun. Um, so we're going to be doing some mosaic art. We're going to be making those pretzels. We have some finger play. We're building a, a, a house for hermit crab. And then it comes with um, just a couple of little fun songs. So now let's look at the materials that we are going to be using to support those. Okay, so the first thing here on the top is this mixed media art set. It has pom-poms, it has some stencils and buttons. Very colorful. They, last few boxes have had something very similar and my kids love them. Now we do have some Play-Doh in today's kit, which is good because ours is running out. We have orange, blue, and red, and it's the Crayola Company. We have, we have some paint. So we have um, purple, looks like black. Nope, brown, just kidding. <laughs> colors. We've got purple, brown, magenta, and green. We have a couple of these small little plastic cups that will be probably for the painting or some other activity. This is one thing that I love about these kits. It literally comes with everything. Glue sticks, scissors. All of the scissors that we have have actually come from Knowledge Crate and it's just so nice to have in our paintbrushes. A lot of them come from Knowledge Crate and it's nice to have those supplies come in because typically you would be buying those supplies or I would be buying the supplies independently so it's nice that we don't have to. Okay we have the paper plate python kit with cute little eyes here. Oh my goodness play-doh accessories you guys this is exciting. So what's funny is it has these little um caterpillars which look very similar to game pieces for another very hungry caterpillar game that we own but that's pretty cool so we have a couple of pigs we have these flowers which might get the play-doh stuck but looks pretty <laughs> we have our mosaics for one of our activities whoa i threw it we do have some water beads these are the jumbo ones i'll be honest you guys i never use these i put them aside because i find them dangerous uh, we have Oh, we have another mosaic kit. So it looks like the first mosaic kit was for cats. This one is for a rooster. We have some things for our hermit crab kit. We have some bonus material, which is always a favorite. My kids love the glitter. I'm, I'm sure I feel about glitter the same way that you do. <laughs> but my kids love it, so we, we embrace it. Um, we have some paper plates or paper bowls and paper plates. We also have some Epsom salts and it says Walter's pretzels kit and it looks like it is from, what is this? Is it Magic Model? Oh yeah, it's the Magic Model play. Um, so we got two packets of that. We also have this wood little paddle board. We have some scratch art animals and then we get into the paper of the kit. So we have um, some just thicker star uh, cardboard stock. We have some um, I don't even know how to describe this, but it's a scratch art scene, so it's going to go in here. This is a bigger piece. Oh my goodness, we have, thank goodness. Okay, so <laughs> she included the outline for the mosaic cat, um, which is very handy because sometimes some of these require me to draw things and I'm not super uh, artistically inclined, so that is nice. So it also came with the rooster, and then we did come with some of our tracing sheets. We have rectangles and ovals. We have circles, squares, um, rhombuses, triangles, and a play-doh mat, which is very, very handy. And that is it. <laughs> There's a lot of content in this box. Okay, so I just want to wrap up by sharing with you my my thoughts on Knowledge Crate as a whole. Um, we really like Knowledge Crate. We love the boxes. We love the content and we have had no complaints with the program. Um, since we have purchased the program and subscribed to it, they even came up with an option where you can opt out of the water beads, which I find really nice just because they are kind of one of those problematic toys. We haven't done it yet. Um, I keep meaning to and I keep forgetting. 
Um, but I do really like the program and I love the themes. I love the quality and she doesn't skimp. Um, the person who is in charge of this program does get high quality. You don't get like the cheap dollar store Play-Doh. You get the real deal, which is very nice. All that being said, I just want to say this is most likely going to be our last box just because it is very expensive. And this is one of those things that I was influenced to buy here on YouTube and I love it. I think it's a really good program, but for the price point, I just don't think that it's something that we are going to be continuing to do. Uh, we have a lot of activity books that we'll be using instead and making our own thing. But I just want to say that if you're looking for a, a, an easy thematic activity box, this is incredible. I do really like it. My kid loves it. Every time he sees that polka dot box, he's always asking what's coming down, um, coming in store for us. And it just, it's been a really good thing. All right. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you use Knowledge Crate or did you and you no longer? I'm very curious. And sorry about the lighting. The sun started to set. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.